Komatsu PC-3000 front shovel is a large mining machine and it weighs around 230 tonnes. This version of the model by NZG is in the colours of Celtic Energy, the South Wales Mining Company. It comes in a large box which is branded Komatsu Mining Germany. Inside the box is a pair of expanded polystyrene trays and they are factory sealed so you need to do a bit of a knife job to get started. With the tape cut the lid can be removed and the model sitting comfortably in the bottom tray. It's certainly a big heavy slug of metal so you need to grab onto something pretty firm to lift it out. And once it's free from the packaging the model is complete ready to display, there's no assembly to do. There's very little in the way of detail underneath the model but the track pads are certainly interesting. The metal tracks sit on some fairly plain looking track frames but the large drive sprockets have got some detail. There are plenty of metal handrails and ladders all around the model and although they're very strong they do look a bit fat for the scale. One nice feature though is the high quality graphics and they certainly are sharp and clear. There are some very large grills on the side of the body and these are modelled quite effectively. At the boom foot the detailing is fairly simple and plain. But there's more detailing around the cab which has mirrors and realistic looking windows. There are a couple of windscreen wipers on the front and the interior detail looks okay. There are some textured walkway surfaces on the top and the equipment boxes are fairly simple. There are rubber hydraulic hoses which go into the boom foot and there are hydraulic pipes modelled in the boom. The boom and arm are heavy castings and small rivets have been used at the connections. But it would have been nice if there had been hydraulic hoses running to all of the cylinders. The heavy metal shovel has lifting eyes modelled at the top but there are no hydraulics modelled for the split opening mechanism. You know how you can look at somebody and think they're a mess. Well, sometimes it takes a big shovel to clear up a mess. It's time to put the big Komatsu out on the test track and there's too much friction for the tracks to roll on a smooth surface. But when you lift the model up it turns out the tracks can roll very smoothly and that's in part because they've got working rollers both on the top and the bottom. The tension's kept in the track by spring-loaded idlers, and if we try it out on a rough surface, then the tracks can be made to roll. The body of the shovel can be made to rotate, but the mechanism's fairly sticky, so it's just not quite as nice and smooth as you sometimes find. The movement of the boom, the arm and the shovel is good, and although they're controlled by pairs of cylinders, they're not so stiff that you'd need to go into a weight training program to work the model. In order to let excavated material out of the shovel, the split shovel mechanism works well, and we'll see more of that in a moment. And after you've done a hard shift of digging, you can lower your shovel and give the machine a rest. To see the shovel working, here's the Komatsu unloading into a Caterpillar 785D mining truck. The other feature the model has is the access staircase can be lowered, and it's pinned into position on the model, not that it really needs a pin because it stays up okay on its own but it smoothly lowers down to let the operator on and off. This model from NZG is a very strong heavy piece of metal and you wouldn't want to drop it on your foot. It's an older model so the detail level is not the highest, but it looks good in Celtic Energy colours. If you pose it with other models it looks impressive, so overall it's recommended. Mm -hmm. 